So what's going on everyone? We're back at it again with another vlog. If you don't already know, I'm Antonio. I'm Joel. And we're Cattle, Cattle Performance. Performance. Alright, what's going on everyone? So today, on today's vlog, we're going to be installing new radiator and cooling fan. I just bought some Mishimoto's. So, we're gonna be doing today. Also, uh, some cooling hoses, some new cooling hoses. All right, guys, so we just unboxed them, so here they are. There we go, we got the Mishimoto radiator right here, looking beautiful and pristine. Ooh, nice little cap right here. And then we also got the dual fans as well. Ooh, all chrome and shiny compared to what we got going on here, the core rad. All right, so right now what I got set up is just a koi rad, regular hoses, the OEM clutch fan. So the reason I'm doing this, the new Mishimoto fans and radiators, because every time I turn on the AC, the car starts to overheat a little bit. So I'm just gonna put the dual fans, hopefully it'll keep it a lot cooler and just go from there. All right, man, let's get started. So pretty much to wire these fans, we went to O'Reilly's and got this two light quick connection wiring harness. It's pretty much just plug and play. It comes with the fuse, the relay, the switch, and the two connectors for the fan. So I would recommend going to O'Reilly's. You could get it, I'm guessing at AutoZone too, but we got this one at O'Reilly's. So this, is, let me show you guys what it comes with. So this is the, the connector, I'm gonna run that inside. The relay's right here and the fuse. So I'm gonna run the, the power to, obviously power, and then I'm gonna connect the ground to ground. And then I just ran this. These are connectors for the fans. It comes with plugs already, so I just pretty much crimp these and crimp it here. This plug I got also from O'Reilly's you could get it or I got this one from work and that's pretty much it I'll show you guys how it looks like so it's just basically two of these for the power side and that's it cool. all right let's get started and so pretty much uh, we're gonna pretty much zip tie this for right now and so there's so much wire that we'll probably end up cutting it just so it's a cleaner look cleaner. once we run it inside and just to mount up the the connector as well over here the fuse i'm gonna yeah, find we'll a screw and probably mount it right here or something yeah just we'll so it looks it out. nice and clean but the good thing about is the switch because i don't know if a lot of people always want the fan on but it's good to have a switch and it just looks cleaner overall and then later on, maybe once we do more engine work, we'll probably do like a nice wire tuck so the engine bay looks really clean. But that's pretty much it. So let's get to it let's and to it. We'll update you guys once it's all done. All right, to take off the clutch fan, it's pretty simple. It's just four 10 millimeter nuts. I use one of these, it works really good. Just make sure to hold the fan because when you're loosen it, it'll start to move. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so for the radiator and the dual fans, pretty much for the dual fans, it's gonna pretty much line up to the radiator so you don't have to worry about Just it. make sure you get the right, <laughs> the right stuff and yeah. everything will line up good. Yeah, so pretty much it fits on the back of the radiator pretty much pretty perfectly. Uh, we have all the hardware right here, so pretty much we're just gonna bolt it up, and that's pretty much it. And then the brackets, you should already have them here, so they'll lot those. They should line up perfectly. And then for the radiator, it's just we're gonna take off the two hoses, which is one, two, and I believe some brackets down there or some bolts that we have to get rid of. But first, we're gonna have to drain the radiator and drain all the coolant out of here and then we'll let you guys know when we do that 
So we have Junior over here just installing that, getting that ready and prepped. All right. Clean, huh? Oh <laughs> well, yeah, nice and shiny, huh? <laughs> so. All right, so for my radiator, I have the drain plug right here. I'm just gonna uh, loosen it up with the pliers. And to get the hose, the clamp right here, start with this one and then lower the car and go from go from the top. And the other hose is up the top. She can get easy access to and then we'll go from there. So don't forget to lock this up. Um, what is this called? Is this where you uh, drain the, the, yeah, the antifreeze, right? Yeah, just a coolant drain plug. Yeah, so don't forget to lock this up. This is another thing that's very important because you don't want to install it and then yeah. have your uh, coolant, coolant leak. pretty much leak as soon as you fill it up. So yeah. from make the sure factory, to, they come yeah. loose. So just, just make, make sure you sure. lock that up. All right, now we're gonna install these. Yeah. It's pretty clean. Check it out. <laughs> Nice little Mishimoto cap right there. I didn't think it would come with the cap. That's clean. It's my old one. Old Blitz. A little rusted, but it's still good. to the rubber radiator supports on the bottom and the OEM brackets fit like perfect just two tens and that's it so now I'm just gonna cut and solder this wiring because it's a little too long I just want to make it look good and that's pretty much it run the switch from the inside and then get it going all right guys so we're gonna test it out right now so pretty much it's all just plug and play so pretty much you just plug in the connectors right there and then what we're gonna do is uh, probably zip tie this right here since it doesn't come with like a bracket or anything just to make this look cleaner and it's not in the way so the switch right here that we have we're gonna run it through the firewall inside and probably drill into the dash just so this fits like flush and OEM but we're gonna tr test it out right now and just see if it works see if it works all right so pretty much all you're gonna do it's already hooked up over there and the light should turn on right here. There we go, see? Bam! She sounds nice, man. What do you think? Looks like you got a jet up in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fucking plane. There you go, so see it works. So now we're gonna unplug it, turn it off. And then we're gonna just tidy everything up right here, make everything look flush. Fix this and wiring. So yeah, we're also going to fix the wiring because it's a little too long. So we're going to cut these and reattach them to the connectors. That way you don't have all this extra cable or you don't have to zip tie it. So pretty much just solder it back together. And it should be super simple, super easy. See, because it's got all that excess wire right there that we yeah, pretty much long. don't need. We don't need all this. All right, let's get to it.
All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today. We ended up installing the radiator and the dual fans. The only thing that we didn't do was show you guys how to install the little switch for the dual fans. Um, to kick on. Yeah, to kick on. We pretty much were going to mount it, but we ran out of time for today, so that's kind of all we had. Uh, but next time, we'll show you guys how to install it, show you guys where we're going to install it, and that's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, cool. Later. Deuces. Bye. Bye.